Cowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and I have a little something special for you guys today, because this is Battle Tribes. Now if you know me from online, you'll know that I am a big advocate for Glios figures, especially ones like this, Battle Tribes. Battle Tribes are these awesome little 3 inch figures kind of based on figures from the 80s like those barbarians, warriors, wizards, dragons, and all kinds of fantasy things like that. Glios compatible figures are incredible and a lot of fun and Battle Tribes in my opinion is one of the best ones out there. They are just very cool little mini figures. But now, we have something very special to show you guys. Because this is Battle Tribes Wrestling, aka BTW. Now what they're doing is giving us a subline of wrestling figures. That is incredible, and I am so stoked to have these in the collection. I'm a giant wrestling fan and a giant Battle Tribes fan, and meshing those two together is just flawless, and I absolutely love them. So what are we waiting for? Let's take a closer look at the BTW figures. All right, guys, now let's take a closer look at Battle Tribes Wrestling. Now I am very excited to finally get these guys. Uh, they were not they were not announced all that long ago, uh, and I am a giant fan of everything that Spy Monkey Creations has been doing with Battle Tribes and whatnot. And they're giving us a subline of wrestlers. Now, for a lot of you that know me, I am a giant hardcore wrestling fan, and these could not fit my personality perfectly. Uh, they're just awesome. They're a lot of fun. If you've ever had things like uh, muscle toys as a kid and whatnot, and all those gumball machine uh, little minifigure toys and whatnot, this is exactly what these remind me of. And they're just a ton of fun, and you'll see why. So, I want to start things off with this fella right here. Now, this is Jimmy Cheeseburger. Now, as you can see, he does have a cheeseburger as a head, which is pretty hilarious. I think it's a lot of fun. You know, this is your basic build for most um, uh, Battle Tribes figures, which looks very, very nice. I like that a lot. But the skull and all that look really cool. They're in that kind of like squatted, you know, muscular pose that we've seen with a lot of figures uh, from like the 80s and whatnot, which is pretty much what these are really inspired by. Uh, so all very, very nice. He's done in a blue and white color scheme, which is a la Ric Flair, the nature boy, which is very cool. It's kind of a, a nod to him, which I do like a lot. So very cool little guy. We also have this fella right here, which is the pink playboy. Now, this is kind of like your heart foundation type character. So like Bret Hart, Jim the Anvil Nighthart and things like that. Uh, which is very nice. He's got the a unitard right here, all pink. I love the pink that they chose here. Even got the little cracked heart symbol right there on his crotch and on his butt right there, which looks very nice with the pink and black boots. All look very cool. But you can see he has a donut as a head, which is very nice. Uh, and the thing is with these guys, uh, you can't get a second version of him and have like a tag team partner for him. So it'd be like the heart foundation, which is very nice. But I love that donut head sculpt with the pink icing on it. I just think it looks hilarious. And again, really reminds me of those old toys from when I was a kid. So so very cool. And my personal favorite is going to be this fella right here. This is Big Fry. Now this is their deluxe figure from this whole wave. Uh, he comes with all, all his accessories come fully painted. Now when you get other figures... Uh, they do have like extra head sculpts like this, which are unpainted, you know, like that. Uh, but all his accessories do come fully painted, which are more like this. Now, it's pretty awesome because I love this. Hulk Hogan is my all-time favorite wrestler. And this is a nod to, obviously, Hulk Hogan. Done in that red and yellow color scheme, just looks very nice. You can see he is wearing like a mask that is like almost like a pack of like McDonald's fries and whatnot. And the fries going up like the hair. I just think it's very, very cool. What I did notice and do like is that you can see right here, uh, if you could tell, the figures actually are done in different skin tones, which is very nice. So it's just not the same mold over and over like that or color of plastic, I should say, used. Uh, he, this one is obviously a lighter skin tone and this one is a darker skin tone, which makes sense for characters like this one, who's a Hulk Hogan inspired. Uh, and Hulk Hogan always had a pretty gnarly tan, so it does work out for that. And I like that a lot. So just a lot, a lot of fun. 
you know, all these figures do uh, have the same articulation, which is rotate at the head, arms can go full 360, rotate at the wrist, swivel at the waist like so, kick forward and back at the leg, and then rotate at the boot. So very, very nice. Now, the, one of the coolest thing is these guys do come with a, a ton of heads, and I mean a ton of heads. So let's check those out. So we get a total of eight interchangeable heads with each figure. Starting off with this awesome cheeseburger head, a head wearing a fries mask, an ice cream cone head, a donut head, a head that I'm assuming is an apple, an apple head with a bite taken out of it, a bald head, and my personal favorite, a luchador head. Now with each individual figure, each one comes with its own little mini wrestler, which are very cool. Some unpainted, but the deluxe one comes with a fully painted little minifigure. Now the cool thing about these are, as you can see, I have the luchador mask on here, but just like the other figures and the larger figures, these do have interchangeable heads and they do utilize the glio system. So if you could take something like maybe this donut head and you could pop it on the little mini guy. So that's pretty cool too. I love that a lot. That's really awesome. So you can kind of pretend like these are little, maybe like little tag team partners or something like that for your wrestlers, which are very nice. And again, these really remind me of those old gumball machine wrestlers and toys that I used to get as a kid. And just having this little guy right now is exactly what made me think of that. It's just very, very cool and a lot of fun. Now you guys have heard me talk about the Galio system quite a bit. Now if you guys don't know what it is, it's basically a universal peg and socket system for interchanging parts. So this figure comes apart at the head, you know, the forearm and the arm, uh, even at the torso here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's even how you get the belt on. So you take a belt, put it over like the waist like that, and then put the upper torso back on like so, and it's pretty seamless, and I like how they did that. But what's cool, if you have any other glass compatible figures, say like this Uzarian Bognar that I've reviewed in the past, you could take his arm off and put it on this guy like so and do something like that, which is pretty weird. Uh, you can even take this guy right here, take off his head, and put it on this fella like that, which again is weird, but kind of cool, I guess. You could even take this guy and get his sword and, you know, put it in this guy's hand like that. And now you have this weird, you know, demon warrior wrestler guy. And it's really cool because that's the whole beauty of the Glio system and all these figures. You can pretty much make any toy you want and any toy you desire. Now, since these are Battle Tribes figures still... What's cool is that they even gave us things like the furry trunks that you would normally get for uh, your standard Battle Tribes figures, since those are more like barbarians. So we got the little trunks right here, the little furry uh, loincloth pieces, and even the more like barbarian boots. Uh, those are pretty cool too. And as you can see, you can see how the same figure would look in both versions of his wrestler version and his more barbarian version. And the fact that they even throw those in too, with all the stuff that we already get, is really awesome. So honestly, I have been having a ton of fun with these little guys. They are just very cool little figures, and utilizing that Glio system is just perfect. I've been mixing and matching these guys, bashing them all around, and like I said, just having a lot of fun. And I think as collectors, we sometimes forget just simply how to have fun with our toys. And that's exactly what these are for. Battle Tribes has done something amazing in making these really sweet little wrestling figures. So for a quick size comparison, here they are standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Glios comparison, here they are standing next to your standard Battle Tribes and Warlords of War figures. And for your wrestling comparison, unfortunately I don't have a Bret Hart anymore, but here they are standing next to a WWE Elite Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan figures. And just for fun, here they are standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Battle Tribes Wrestling. Now overall, 
these have just been a lot of fun to play with and an absolute blast. They really take me back to when I was a kid and would have those little pocket wrestlers and just bash them around. That's exactly what these are to me. I love these little guys. Taking the Battle Tribes line and crossing them with wrestling is absolutely perfect for someone like me. Great color schemes, beautiful sculpts, and utilizing the Galio system with mixing and matching parts is just so much fun. They are very cool little figures and I think you would absolutely love them in your collections. So I give these a rating of 4 Bat Bombs out of 5. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy my friends. Peace.